What's up YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. I just got done going through the latest issue of Room Org magazine and as always there is a ton of great stuff in here. Let's take a look. This is Room Org number 197. The feature article this month focuses on Canadian horror, with individual articles about the latest projects from directors Anthony Scott Burns, Brandon Cronenberg, and Sean Linden, as well as the return to horror from Canada's own Devin Sawa. Over the years, a lot of great things have come from Canada. John Candy, The Heart Foundation, Epic Mealtime, but one thing that most people don't think of is horror movies. In The Stuff of Nightmares, we discuss Anthony Scott Burns being the director of this project, the writer of this project, the cinematographer. He did the music, he did the coloring. He did, literally did everything for this movie. So Come True is about a girl named Sarah who's down on her luck. She's been sleeping in the park. She's been sleeping on friends' floors. She's growing tired of this, so she applies for a sleep study. Soon after, she finds out that this is not, or she realizes that this is not your typical sleep study that everybody involved in this sleep study seems to be having the same nightmare of a dark figure appearing at the foot of her bed or at the foot of their bed. This movie's based on Anthony Scott Burns' own experiences from when he was a child. He used to suffer from sleep paralysis and while he was having nightmares or dreams or whatever you want to call it, he always would have a dark figure in the room with him. His mother died when he was very young and he always thought that that dark figure was his mother. So the main character, Sarah, in this movie is somewhat autobiographical for him. In the article, Punk's Not Dead, Devin Sawa discusses his return to the horror genre. He was the star of Idle Hands and a star of Final Destination, and after a long hiatus, he is back in the world of horror. Sawa has signed on for two horror projects. One is Sean Linden's Hunter Hunter, and the other is Glenn Danzig's Death Rider in the House of Vampires. That definitely sounds like a Glenn Danzig thing. The article Deep Dark Woods focuses on that Sean Linden project, Hunter Hunter. That's about a guy who takes his family up into the mountains on a hunting trip, and he has to head back to his uh, home in the city, and he leaves his wife and his daughter behind, and I believe it's the daughter goes out in the woods and she finds a homeless man and brings him back to the cabin. I did a reaction video to the trailer to this movie. I gotta tell you, that movie looks fantastic. And in this article, Sean Linden also, you know, in addition to discussing the movie, obviously, Sean Linden discusses the pros and cons of Canadian horror filmmaking. In the article, Second Skin, Brandon Cronenberg is discussing his latest project, Possessor. This is about a bio assassin who's hired to not only perform a murder, but also to inhabit the body of someone close to the target, as well as control the narrative of the crime. That could be interesting. Phil's Creepy Vids, Canadian Bacon, Rush. And this month in Horror International, they're discussing the Valancourt Book of World Stories. And what that is, is a collection of short horror stories from all around the world that have previously been written only in their native language. Here they are going to be translated and combined into one book, which is also a really cool idea. They haven't been able to do that before, but now they're reaching out and getting different translators just because they think that there is a lot more horror to be told out there than what we have in our native languages. The article Dead Language discusses why the relationship between Latin and horror works and why it works so well. In the article Ancient Chants, that discusses the relationship between Latin and horror soundtracks, such as in The Exorcist, The Shining, and Poltergeist. The article Songs for Psychos discusses the influence of Ice Nine Kills frontman Spencer Charnas's influence of horror in his life and in his music. And for you comic fans out there, Blood in Four Colors discusses Scott Snyder's new horror comic series, Best Jacket. Snyder has been a primary contributor to DC Comics for the last 10 years. In the article Femme Fatales, it discusses how horror has always primarily been a white man's game, but Toni Miller is trying to change all that. She's the co-founder of Ladies in Horror Fiction, which started off as just a small website. Now not only do they have the website, they have a podcast as well as they give out awards each year and they give grants to uh, other female writers. 
women in horror have definitely come a long way. And then there's all the other little doodads that are sprinkled inside of each issue of Rue Morgue. On reissues, they discuss the, the reissue of I Spit on Your Grave, Shivers, It Cuts Deep, and the one that caught my idea, uh, excuse me, caught my eye was Leap of Faith. It discusses William Franken's uh, creating The Exorcist. Admittedly, this is basically a director's commentary turned into a feature. I know I recently saw that that's either available on Amazon Prime or on Shutter. I, I want to check that out. I love The Exorcist. In this month's art gallery, it discusses the art of David Seidman. And in there, there is an illustration of a picture he created of Reagan and Father Karras from The Exorcist that is absolutely amazing. In Audiodrome, they discuss the most recent issues from Satanic Panic, Zach Wilde, Decompose, Six Feet Under, and Tombs. Finally, in Play Dead, they're discussing the Dread X Collection 2 for PC and Mortal Shell for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. You can also get a recipe for a Jack Frost cheese ball this month. I don't know if that's good or bad. That definitely doesn't cover everything. That's pretty much a general overview. There's always tons of other stuff inside of Rumor Magazine. You know, th there's obviously going to be the section where you could subscribe and then other shameless self-promotion in there. So that's it. That is my rundown of Room Org number 197. It's the first time I'm trying this. I hope it turns out well. Be nice. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching.